Hey guys, how you doing? Video in today's one-on-one -on -one talk here in my office. I uh, hope there's not a terrible echo and everything since, uh, you know, I'm recording this on my phone as always. Now, this week's topic and stuff um, is going to be about keeping your friends close or the saying, keeping your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. And how I basically disagree with that saying and everything else. And I'm going to explain here why. But I also want to thank you guys um, on reaching out about last week's video. Liking and sharing the video. And then we got so much positivity that came out of it. I didn't realize how big of an impact it was going to make. So it looks like I'm going to be continuing these at least once a week. The best that I can and stuff like that. You know, given that I am very busy with everything that I'm doing. But luckily today I have this little gap to be able to video here in between a lot of my office work and such. But back to the topic here. Um, th this was said to me by an individual um, <clears throat> earlier last week or more later in the week. But it was also said on top of the keep your friends close but your enemies closer that you choose your enemies and stuff. And this was a heated debate and everything else with me and this individual. Um, I disagree with keeping your enemies close and within your circle. This individual said he likes to keep these individuals close, as in his enemies, because he wants to keep an eye on them. He wants to keep them in the circle so he knows what they're doing and what's going on. Now that tells me that that's very fake. You're building these fake relationships with these people that truly aren't your friends, but you keep your enemies around because you want something from them, is all that tells me. It tells me you're being very fake. I know with myself, and like I told you guys in the last video, I get rid of those people. Okay? And that's what I told this individual. I said, those people are not to be in my circle. My circle is to be tight. It is to be small because I want to make sure that I have positivity in the circle that people want to see me being lifted up as I lift them up and it's a nice little balance and it's a good relationship and it's a healthy relationship and you can sleep well at night knowing that you're not going to get stabbed in the back. Now, you know, going from there, he's like, no, you, you chose that. You chose your enemies. You choose your enemies. And I'm like, okay, I see where you're going with this, but I don't like the way you're wording that. I don't like that at all. Are you stating that I'm an enemy? You know? Basically, long story short, that's exactly what it is. I am that person's enemy that they want to keep in the circle and all that. And I had to learn through this debate and everything else. At least that's what I got out of it. But it's not really a choice. It's not my choice. Those people, I, I didn't want to ever become enemies. I don't want to become enemies with anybody. And I feel that everybody is the same way. You can't make everyone happy. Shit, I piss people off just breathing, just being alive. And they hate me for it. And there's nothing you can do about it. You will have enemies no matter what. You need to address those enemies head on, straight forward, and get rid of them and get them out of your life. And now, you can't keep them around. You can't be fake. You can't hope that they're going to get better or whatever you're planning on. But it's the choice that they make. If they're the enemy, they chose to be an enemy, okay? One of the analogies I wanted to use is basic fights, whatever it may be. Actually, um, I'm going to bring up what um, we honored yesterday in Pittsburgh during this lifting meet and everything else. And it was the first responding cop to the synagogue shooting, the Jewish chapel. He was shot seven times. Seven times, and he attacked his assailant and everything else. He was the enemy. Do you think he's going to want to keep him close? Do you think he made that choice? No. That guy chose to go in there and hurt innocent people. Chose to become an enemy, a public enemy. He made the choice. That cop did the righteous thing, okay, the right thing, the morally right thing to save lives. And he ended it almost in his own life. Okay, luckily he survived. He was able to walk up there and be honored and that was a true hero. You know what I mean? But he didn't make the choice that that guy was to be his enemy. He never made that choice. The enemy always makes the choice. If we were to word it, you choose your enemies. The enemy makes the first choice. That's what I got out of it. And then that's when, you know, that was addressed to me. I was like, okay, I must be this person's enemy. You know, but long story short, I think it comes down and boils down to a lot of jealousy. 
You know what I mean? Just because a lot of people want to, like, back to last week's video, a lot of people want to see you do good, but not better than now. And a lot of people realize that working hard is working hard. To get somewhere, you have to work harder and harder. And I know me, as I grow, whether that's being an athlete, a businessman, whatever it may be, I have to work twice as hard. I have to step even further out of my comfort zone. And it's rough. And it's tough. But... My word to you guys, I'm going to try to keep these videos to like 10 minutes so I don't bore you guys. I know last week's was 15 or so. But get rid of those enemies. You did not choose this enemy. You did not choose them to hurt you. They made the choice. And then it's your choice from there to address that that is an enemy. Unless you want to be fake and keep that enemy close. And closer than, closer than your actual friends. Because you want to keep an eye on them. That's wrong. That is so wrong. I, I mean, at least with my morals. You get rid of that person. Do not be fake. Don't. Don't ever be fake. You address the problem head on. They made the choice to be your enemy. So what you do is you make then your choice that they forced you to make. It's not a choice you ever wanted to make, at least with the situations that I've been in, to get rid of them. Because you need positivity in your life. You need good people around you. You do not need to keep your enemies close. That is bullshit, straight up. What you need to do is do what's best for you, but don't hurt people along the way, okay? You gotta make sure that you're doing the best that you can to better yourself and better everybody else around you, and that's how this world is gonna become a much better place. But unfortunately, we live with a lot of selfish people and they have a lot of selfish needs, and then that's where the fake comes in, and then that's where they keep all these people in this circle and stuff because they wanna benefit from them, they wanna be that leech that I talked about, and so on and so forth. You know, but I don't want to bore you guys with that. I wanted to fill you guys in with that story and hope that maybe it helps somebody else in a similar situation right now. Maybe you're stuck. Maybe you're in a bad friends group. Um, I hate to say it, but sometimes family's just blood and they're not there for you, you know? So unfortunately you might have to cut some ties here and there. Now I'm not saying, you know, just go and say F this person, F that person, you know what I mean? But analyze the situation, see what they're really trying to get at. But don't keep negative people in your life. Don't keep those enemies around. And remember, that enemy chose to come at you first. You did not choose them to be an enemy, okay? They are always the assailant. They're always the one attacking, and then you retaliate. And do it in a positive manner. Do not do it in any kind of violence. I always like to do things professionally, talk it out. I'm always straight to the point, but some people who are in the wrong, when you hit them with the facts and you hit them hard with those facts and you do it assertively and professionally and you talk cool, crisp, and calm, they feel like they're getting backed into a corner. And the only reason they feel like they're getting backed into a corner is because they are in the wrong. And when they're in the wrong, they feel attacked. I know with myself, when people have come at me, but they've done that professionally and they're stating their opinions, whatever it may be, I don't feel attacked. I listen. I observe. Okay, I did this. I did this. I apologize or whatever. Or maybe I state my opinion and I was like, I think you're seeing it from this perspective and really it's this perspective, but that's a whole other topic and everything else. But I just wanted to give you guys my two cents. Do not keep these enemies in your circle. That's just a load of shit. Okay? I hate that saying, keep your friends close. But keep your enemies closer. It's wrong, I think. It's just my opinion. You guys are more than welcome to reach out to me and, you know, voice your opinions and everything else. I am all ears all the time. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys did a great job. I want to thank you all for liking and sharing these videos. And I'm glad that they're helping people. I want to continue to do it with, you know, my life stories and everything else. And we're going to be working on that YouTube um, series next here. It's kind of just like my background and we're going to go step by step. I don't know how many videos it's going to be, but hopefully it's interesting. Hopefully it's something that helps you guys along the way. And that's why I want to keep doing this. So guys, please reach out if you need to. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys like the video and I'll be talking to you guys later.